In this video, I'm going to show you one of the methods for backing up your PSP games and UMD movies. With the PSP nearing on 20 years now, it is a good time to back up your physical media for the system so that way you can ensure its longevity well into the future. By backing up your UMD games and movies, you're able to use these on actual PSP hardware, and then, at least for games, use them on the PPSSPP emulator as well on various devices, ensuring that you can use your physical media across multiple devices if desired. But let's go ahead and dive in. To get started with backing up our PSP games and UMD movies, we are going to need a couple of things, the first of which being a modded PSP with a UMD drive, so PSP 1000, 2000, 3000, and then of course a selection of UMDs to back up, so I have a couple of games here including Final Fantasy Tactics, Crisis Core, and then a sampler disc followed by a UMD movie of Casino Royale. So to get things backed up, we're going to start with Final Fantasy Tactics here. So, just going to flip over my PSP, open up that UMD drive, put the game in, close that up. And another thing I forgot to mention is you are going to need a USB cable to connect your PSP to a computer. But anyway, so you can see Final Fantasy Tactics here, but anyway, on our ARC 4 modded PSP that I'm using in today's demo, we're just going to hold down select bring up the VSH menu and then we're just going to press X on advanced VSH menu and you will see the first option is USB device this is set to memory stick so if you press left on your d-pad it will change it to UMD disk now just press circle circle again and enable your USB connection and plug in your PSP to your computing device now on your computer, if you don't have auto load for folders loaded up, you can just go ahead and go into your file structure, find your PSP UMD drive here, and you'll see that there is an ISO named UMD9660.ISO. This is a virtual representation of the game in your disk drive or movie. So just copy this over to your desktop and then wait for it to do its thing. It is relatively slow unfortunately, so this could take anywhere between 5 to 20 minutes depending on the size of your games. And once the game is finished copying over you can close out of that and then just rename it to the game in question. So this was Final Fantasy Tactics. And you don't need to change the extension to lowercase, I just prefer it to be lowercase because of semantics, I guess, but whatever. So I've previously backed up Crisis Core and my sampler disc already just because they're a bit bigger. But anyway, once you have that game renamed, you're ready to move on to your next disc. So back over on the PSP, you can just press circle to exit USB mode. Swap out the disc in question, so we're going to take out Final Fantasy Tactics here. And I'm going to put in Casino Royale. And with the new disc in place, just going to wait for it to load up real quick. Just as, uh, there we go. So, going to enable the USB connection once again. And now over on the computer you can see that it has created the new virtual ISO for Casino Royale here, UMD9660. And that's why you want to rename games before you copy over the next one, otherwise you will overwrite them. So as you can see Casino Royale is a lot bigger than Final Fantasy Tactics was, so we're going to go ahead and skip ahead until this is done. And there we go, Casino Royale has finished copying over, so just going to get this one renamed real quick. And there we go. So once you finish copying over all the games you plan to, just hold that select button on your modded PSP once again. So on ARC4, go back into that advanced menu and press right on the D-pad for USB device to change it back over to the memory stick. And then just press circle twice. And if desired, you can begin copying over the games you just backed up back onto your PSP's memory stick to run internally. So just load up that USB connection once again. And on your computing device, you can access your PSP's memory stick. So 
If you haven't already, create a folder named ISO, and that is where you will place your games. So we're gonna go ahead and drop Crisis Core in here. And just as a note, you can convert these ISO files over to CSO like you see in my folder already, if desired. Some games might have some loading and performance issues as CSOs, namely GTA. I haven't tested those in recent years. I don't know if it's ever been fixed, but just something to note. But CSO can definitely save you a lot of space on a smaller memory card like this 8 gig one I'm using right now. Now, if you are interested in copying over UMD movies inside your PSP's ISO folder, create a new folder. and name it video. And once created, you can drag your ISO files over for your UMD movies. Now, just a quick note for any demo discs that might have both game and video partitions on them, like my Sampler Volume 1 disc here. So if you place this in your PSP's game folder, it will play all the demos as intended. However, when I've tried to drag this into the video folder to access the video content, it has caused hiccups and freezes on the PSP itself where it wouldn't load. But mounting the UMD, you can see that you have your typical game, audio, and video partitions. So all the information is here. It's just not easily accessible from what I've been able to find as of making this video. So if anyone has any hints on how to get all three of these partitions to play correctly, I would love to hear from you in the comments below. But once you have everything copied over, you can just go ahead and close out of your USB connection, and if you go over to your game tab... Oh, look at that, we still have Casino Royale in here. Let's go ahead and take that out real quick. If you head over to your game tab and head down to your memory stick, you'll see your newly copied over games, so Crisis Core. And if you're interested in playing UMD movies, all you need to do is go into the VSH menu by holding down Select, Go into the Advanced VSH menu. Under the ISO video mount, press left and right on your D-pad until you find the ISO you want to mount, and then press cross. And from here, the PSP will reboot. So again, you can see I have Casino Royale right there. PSP is rebooted. And it auto-plays the UMD movie of Casino Royale. So oh, there it is, we are playing it even though it's right there. Huzzah. If we go to the home menu, you can see it as well. So there it is. Just as you would see on if you had the physical disc in the drive. So very cool stuff. But there you have it, the very simple and easy way to back up your PSP games for use on a modified PSP or within the PPSSPP emulator. This process should work for an overwhelming majority of PSP games, but for the odd chance that some don't, other options do exist that I may cover in the future. But again, thank you for watching today's video, I hope it helps you get your physical PSP games backed up so you can use them well into the future. But here at the end, just the usual favors to ask, if you haven't already done so, please be sure to hit that thumbs up, thumbs down button, depending on how much you like today's video as well as that sub button and notification bell so you can see when new videos go live on the channel. Loads of content always coming your way and I'd appreciate having you along for the ride. If you'd like to further help support the channel and keep it going, also be sure to check out that join button here on YouTube or the Patreon link in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Every little bit helps keep us going and we're super grateful to all of our current champions. You're just incredible. Thank you so much for all of your support. But until next time my wonderful internet peeps, you all stay awesome, keep on gaming, and we'll see you back next video.